Bradley, hello Dutch. What are your thoughts on Fritz von Erich, the von Erich family, and world class championship wrestling? Did you ever even consider working there in WCCW? Uh, well, I did go down there one time for about three weeks. I didn't like it for some reason, and I didn't stay long, so I got up and left. Uh, the Von Erich brothers, I didn't spend a lot of time around them, but I think they're mentally deficient a lot of them. They were, I mean, they just, sometimes you couldn't even talk to them. What was the second one's name? David was the oldest. Uh, Kevin? There, there was uh, Jack Jr. who died as a child, and then it was David, yeah. then Kerry or Kevin. David was okay. Kevin was a moron. Because, well, I won't, I won't say a moron, but, you know, he when you'd ask him something, of course, he was all messed up. You couldn't understand a word he was saying. I had a couple of matches with him. He does knock the crap out of me. You know, he was careless. So I couldn't do anything. I wouldn't let him pick me off my feet because I thought he'd drop me on my head. Uh, and the youngest one, he was he was a little, but he was trying to live up to the Von Eric reputation cool. and couldn't do it. Chris, and that's that a was. very sad, that's a very sad, tragic family, really. Mm. Did you did you have any interaction with Fritz then? Because it, I don't know what he was telling these kids that they all thought shooting themselves was some sort of appropriate course of action to be reunited with their brothers or whatever. But I mean, I I don't get it. I, I mean, how how can one family all go through that? Well, that's a mystery that I don't know. But even reading about them. They, and they weren't – I read a story about Kevin and this, and the Von Erichs in Texas. They were like gods. The Von Erichs, everybody knew the Von Erichs in Texas, in parts of Oklahoma, Louisiana, wherever, wherever that TV played. But I did read a story about Kevin one time and said he was thinking about killing himself. And he pulled up in this parking lot and he was thinking out there in the car and there was like a, a pawn shop there. So he got up and he walked into the pawn shop and everybody looked at him and they said, Hey, Kevin, how are you? They all knew him. There's like three people in the store and he walked around and he picked up a gun. I don't know if he picked up a shotgun or a pistol and he just put it in his, I don't know what pistol he'd put in his pocket, but he walked out the door with the gun and guess what the people in the store did? Nothing. <laughs> they didn't do one thing. And he went to the car and sat down and he was thinking about killing himself. I don't know if he had any ammunition or not. But then he walked back in there and gave it back to him. And they all walked up to him. They were Christians and they loved the Von Eriks. And they all went and hugged him. And they said a prayer with him and wished him well. Now, that's a, that's a pretty strong story. And he said this happened, so I, I, don't, I don't have any reason to disbelieve him. But I really can believe him because the Von Eriks were over. So when he walked into the store, I'm sure they all knew him. So part of that, it, I, I think, has got to be true. Hmm. You ever hear that story? <clears throat> no, I've never heard that story. Okay. Well, you heard it now. Yeah, Kevin's Kevin's the remaining alive. Yes. On yes. Eric. You never wrestled and Kerry, was... did you? <clears throat> I did wrestle Kerry in a tag match. Hmm. It was me and Gary Hart <laughs> and... Can't remember his name now. Good guy, though. He's like a wild man gimmick. Beard. And we wrestled Fritz and Kerry and David at uh, in Houston. And Houston always did its own TV. See, Houston was like uh, Chicago and another town. They were like outliers. They didn't have their own talent. They would just bring talent in. 
whoever they wanted. And they did great, great business for a, a lot of years. Oh, St. Louis was like that. It was uh, Houston, St. Louis, and Chicago. It's almost like in a line going up. And they, they were not affiliated with one territory. I mean, you know, the St. Louis would use a lot of Kansas City guys. Houston would use a lot of the Mid-South guys. And Chicago would – they would just use people from all over. But their business stayed good. So, but that's that's – that's how I wrestled the, the Von Eric in Houston because I was working the Texas territory. That was the three weeks I was there. <laughs> I, I also remember the story where you said that Kerry Von Eric and the Undertaker had a driving competition and then Kerry got out and body yep. slammed the Undertaker and stuff. I, I, I love the booking of it. I mean, even like Undertaker even... Well, they made, well, they made that up. <laughs> because Undertaker, I said, did y'all... I asked him. I said, did y'all make that up? He said, no, the car jam stalled on him because he was supposed to be in the fastest car. And, and he was a fast car because he did beat Kerry off the, off the line. But when he got around the curve, I think he was trying to sh switch gears or something and, and it broke down. So Kerry slammed his brakes on, got out of the car, went back there, punch, punch, pulled him out, slammed him. And, of course, the crowd was a half mile away. Of course, they cheered. And then he got back in the car and come around and he won. <laughs> it's the damnedest finish I ever saw. I liked it. 